Hey everybody, welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're doing okay. We're just coming back from our evening walk. We went to a waterfall nearby and just kind of chilled out and enjoyed each other's company. Did a little clean up. We know it's been a minute since we posted anything. Just, uh, we've been, we've been hard at work fixing up the longhouse and putting in a garden. And I actually ended up selling a motorcycle um, that I built over the last couple of years. Spent all this energy and time and work on this bike and never actually rode it. I put maybe three or four miles on it. It sat for the last year or two. And I uh, got it started up and sold it the other day. So we freed up some cash and ended up getting a little bit of livestock. We got a couple of sheep, three to be exact. We got some chickens. We rescued chickens from a slaughterhouse that were gonna kill them, I guess. And we picked them up from a lady that rescued them. Mm -hmm. And they got all their feathers back. Yeah, they were in bad shape. But they're doing okay. We got, we got a dozen of them and then my brother ended up picking up like 18 uh, little chicks and we just got some turkeys as well. And we got four, Couple. Bron four bronze turkeys. Mm -hmm. They just look like the regular wild turkey. With the sheep we'll be able to make our own butter from their milk and cheese. We'll have wool. Yeah. Yeah, the, sh the sheep milk is They're, really interesting. It's got a really high protein count and it's like fat. double of everything else. Mm -hmm. and they're really, it's like super milk. They're really easy to keep. Like they basically just need grass, water, and a salt lick. You can finish them. Very low maintenance. Grain. Yeah, like they're really hardy animals and they're not expensive. Like cattle's really expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never been around sheep before. Like we grew up with cows, but uh, sheep, sheep are new to me and it's really interesting. Um, Cause that's a term that gets thrown around a lot these days, sheep, like the masses, the sheep. And it's easy to see why that term <laughs> gets used because they are not very not smart the animals. animals. <laughs> but they're really they're... however adorable they may be. <laughs> <laughs> I love sheep ever since I went to the sheep and wool festival in Rhinebeck in mm -hmm. New York, I think it's Rhinebeck. It's like in the Hudson Valley and it's a whole festival every fall and they have like all these workshops on wool and yarn and sheep shearing and like it was just awesome. It like blew my mind as a little kid and I always wanted sheep ever since then. Now we got a couple. They're pretty awesome. So yeah, we came back here and we got some animals together and we did some work on our longhouse and then one of the first things we did was start planning a garden and getting some food happening. So that's kind of what we've been up to. After we got the area cleared, we had to get a fence up and keep the woodchucks and rabbits out. We've got some chicken wire and line the bottom perimeter with stones on the inside and the out so they can't dig under it. They still kind of mess with it, but so far so good. I'm going to keep working on it and then the frame is just some saplings from the area check this out lash it off with the bark and then just some twine basically the same building construction that i use for the longhouse took some time took a little energy and that's kind of what we've been working on as of late we got a few tomatoes in there and just use some logs and some compost from the area and got some good dirt mixed it up right behind the tomatoes we've got corn beans and squash on these mounds so we've got corn i think this is the beans and this is the squash this is known as the three sisters it's a traditional farming method of the native americans the the plants complement each other the, uh, the beans provide nitrogen for the corn and actually the corn gives the corn gives the beans a place to grow and climb and the squash is able to grow on the ground in between them. So it works out really, really well. We've got some peppers here. Blue Lake 
pole beans and some spaghetti squash and then the saplings are bent over giving the beans a little structure to grow up on got some hot peppers here a little bed with some garlic over here we've got some different greens planted we've got some sunflowers and then back here we've got some sweet potato and a row of white potatoes yeah so far so good we're pretty excited with how things have turned out i almost forgot we've got a potato bed over here this is pretty cool just use some extra chicken wire and the idea is to let the potatoes grow up out of it and then you add in more soil and straw and they basically fill up the container uh, vertically. We got a late start because of the weather. We had snow in the end of May yeah, and some late frost. So, you know, we got it in the ground as soon as the frost ended, but it was a little bit later than we anticipated and we're starting everything in the ground. So we kind of feel like we're a little bit behind schedule with things, but who knows? It's better than not having it's it It's better than all. not having it at all. So how are we watering this? Glad you asked. Just a short walk out of the garden is our stream. There's a stream. I cut some stairs into the hill. I ended up digging out a little reservoir pulling some of the stones out of the bottom of the bed to make a little pocket of water so I'm able to submerge the buckets and fill them pretty easily. And then it's about, you know, 50 yards up the hill, back to the garden. This little area right here that we have planted, this is maybe, you know, 10 feet by 30. And, we're not even really capitalizing on it. We could definitely put more in there. So if you don't have a lot of room, it really doesn't take a lot of room to grow some food. And if you do stuff like raise beds and grow your food vertically, you can get a lot more going. Check out Good Lion Films. They're putting out some really awesome, awesome videos talking about some of the subjects at hand. It's really important to be as self-reliant as possible right now. Right now is the time to go out and make some solid connections with people, get to know your neighbors, find people that you can trust because this is going to be a very, very interesting year. We're just getting started, I'm afraid. It was never about keeping you safe. It's not about race. It's all about control. Hope you guys are good. Lots of love. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.